Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. It's great to have you join us on the eve of Visa Day. I'm Clarice Lau, Sales Manager of JLL Singapore and also the host of the evening. At JLL, we are here to help our clients to achieve their investment ambitions. Apart from the key international markets like London and Tokyo, we also diversify our portfolio offerings to include unique residential opportunities in safe havens like Swiss Alps. This evening, I'm pleased to introduce you Maureen Yeo, a fellow Singaporean who had made a home for herself in Switzerland for the past four years. Maureen is a sales manager with the development group of Andamat Swiss Alps. You may also recognize Vidya Lester, a the head of JLL International Residential Singapore, who will be sharing her investment insights on this development. A little bit of housekeeping before we begin. I would like to highlight the polls and Q&A section that would appear on the right side of your screen. We would like to engage with you, our viewers, so do participate in our polls as well as the Q&A, which I will facilitate at the end of the presentation. You may fill in the, your questions by clicking on the question mark icon below your screen, and we look forward to responding to them later. Now let's begin. What is there to know about Andamat? Andamat is an up and coming ski resort destination. It used to be an old military village and is now well on its way, catapulting into an alpine superstar, which Maureen will be sharing more with you. Maureen, over to you. My job today will be to just introduce you a little bit about Andermatt, what we are, how we have uh, achieved what we have in the past 10 years from it was just an old military post. So a little bit of where we are uh, location-wise. Uh, we are located in central Switzerland. We're just one and a half hours away by car from Zurich International Airport, 15 minutes from Lucerne by car and two hours to Milan. Um, by train network, which is very connected in Europe, we are also about two and a half hours away from Zurich International Airport. Um, we are very famous in the, the community to have the best pristine and untouched alpine landscape as the best air quality in water. Um, we are very proud that Andama is also the source of European um, nature uh, water supply. So um, we are we're tasked to be an all year round destination and not just a ski resort. Um, a little bit about us, our mother company, Araskom Development is a township builder. We have massive projects in across Egypt, Oman, Montenegro. Right now, our UK and Switzerland are the two latest projects. A little bit of Samir Samir Sawaris is the visionary behind uh, Andermatt Swiss Alps. He was invited by the Uri Cantonal government in 2005 to see if he can sparkle some of his magic for what he has done in the past and recreate and redevelop Andermatt. And when he came and visited Andermatt, he fell in love with the nature beauty of it and he decided to put in his own money to build Andermatt Swiss Alps. And therefore, he's also personally the largest majority shareholder of Andermatt Swiss Alps. Master plan wise, uh, we are not just a ski resort. The plan, the vision is to develop a year round destination resort. Currently, we have achieved the fact that we are now in the largest ski arena in central Switzerland. We have completed 18 whole golf course. We have completed a world-class concert hall, and the plan is to have six four to five star hotels, of which two have been realized. 42 apartments we're looking to build, of which eight has been completed. So altogether, we are planning to have 500 apartments when the project completes in 2025. This is a look of the master plan. If you look at the top part here, this is the existing village, a very quaint village of Andermatt has, that has been uh, in existence for hundreds of years. And this is where we are. This is where we're putting in the apartments, the hotel and the concert hall. And between the new and the old area is the central train station. So you can get in from Zurich or any parts uh, of Europe. Uh, you can, if during the winter, you can go skiing straight away because the ski arena, the ski lift is just hundred meters from, it's connected to the train station. So it's about hundred meters away. Um, and the golf course, it's already completed. If we, this is what uh, we are, this is the plan, the vision, and this is what we have achieved so far. 
This is a snapshot of the webcam that I took from uh, last week. You can see we still have plenty of snow and um, now it's, it's already mid spring, almost summer. We are only one third in the development process. So we were still planned to build, you know, more apartments, more hotels, and not only that, but also infrastructure and services to complement the appreciation of the buildings. I will run through the infrastructures of what we have put in in the last 10 years. So the ski arena, as I mentioned, we're very proud of it because this is a very key element to us. And the past under Mark was that only had one ski, uh, one ski lift, but now we have now 22 lifts and we're the largest ski arena in central Switzerland with 120 kilometers of slopes. And we're planning to be connected to the next canton, so which yield about 180 kilometers of slopes. Um, this is a look at our ski map where we are. So under mud is under here. This is we start at 1,500 in terms of uh, altitude, just to have an idea. So you can ski all the way to the next canton, and they're all connected not just by ski leads but also the train network. So which allows anybody to stop skiing about the, by midday and take a train back to Andermatt. Or you can get on to our upper ski train, which is a very unusual element in, um, in Andermatt. If not, it's very unique in the world where you can ski from one, one village to another and then you can upper ski already on the train back to Andermatt. Um, the next important element of infrastructure that we put in was the F&B restaurants. So Mountain Food is our brand. Uh, we put in already 18 mountain restaurants throughout uh, Andermatt and the region. And where we try to achieve uh, sustainability in which uh, we give away free water because we are so proud of it and uh, we want to give it for free. There is no PET in all our restaurants and we ensure that we provide zero kilometer menu, which means we source all our produce from the local villages. The news addition, the latest addition that we had last year in December, we opened the two gourmet restaurant on top of the mountain at 2,300 meters high. This is um, more of a gourmet restaurant, slow food culture, where you would like to, to, to eat slowly from 11 to 4 p.m. It's only open in lunch and you can take the ski, li ski lift down. In terms of a golf course, we have, this is a, a world-class golf course that's open from May to October. Um, but be, uh, during the winter period, we, we converted the golf course into a cross-skiing terrain. Um, the other element that we wanted to make sure we put in the culture uh, infrastructure into play was the concert hall. We completed the concert hall, 700 seats last year. And this is one of the most advanced uh, concert hall in central Switzerland. The, the other key element was also we make sure that we have to upgrade our train station from a small little uh, village station to really a modern one where we put in the FMB, um, the offices. We have offices up there above the train station and also some lockers that allow people to come in to put in their ski, uh, uh, the ski uh, lock the skis with us and then they can go up whenever they want. Um, this is, you're looking now, I'm presenting to you now the piazza of the new area that we have done. So these are the buildings, that we, apartment blocks that we have uh, finished and sold. And at the podium level, we have the F&B restaurants, we have the sports facilities, so that to support the, the tourism development as well as our owners. So people can come in from uh, Singapore, for example, rent all the ski gear or rent all their bike during the summer without uh, carrying them throughout their travels. Activities wise, some uh, winter we have a range. If you are non-skier, don't worry, you can do uh, uh, snow walking or luging. And in the summer, we have more than 500 kilometers of tracks in um, the whole area. So you don't, you don't get bored, you know, for one month, if you're tracking every day, you, I'm, I'm sure you won't see the same people in the whole place, in the whole month. And besides that, um, because of a beautiful terrain, um, we attract uh, the super cars club owners to come here every year during the summer to parade their cars, to test drive their cars, to show off their wares, and assuming that they're driving like they were James Bond. And we also have um, 
uh, a lot of biking events that take place throughout the summer period as well. This is what I mentioned. This is some of the shops that we have in the arena in the new areas. We have a lot of sports events throughout the year because we want to make sure you revitalize the village and bring revenue to our owners. Um, Under Mud Live is a music festival that was started last year uh, from the completion of the concert hall. This is like a music festival that we, we create different kind of music during uh, the festival uh, to attract more people to the area. Master plan wise, phase one is completed with two hotels. We have the golf course and eight apartment blocks and concert hall. Phase two, we're planning to develop more for, uh, four additional buildings this year and the family hotel will be starting work in the next one to two years. So the Chidi is one of the flagship is actually our flagship building that we have done. This is um, a five-star luxurious hotel. We are very proud of it because it has won many awards and is now one of the best hotels in Switzerland. Besides that, you also have uh, fantastic Asian cuisines that please the palates of Asian clients. Um, and our pool, uh, we have, uh, this is also an award-winning uh, pool and spa facilities. The next hotel that was completed is the the Radisson Blue Hotel. This is a four-star hotel. It's a very different offering from the Chedi. It's more of a corporate family style hotels, uh, which we attract a lot of events, corporate events that come here that used up the space on not just the hotel rooms, but also our apartment blocks. This is a wellness area that uh, residents can use uh, whenever they want to. So real estate wise, uh, we are only one third done. So in the next course of many years, we're going to start building the two thirds of development that we planned. Um, in the past three years, we have, from the start to the past three years, we have most of our buyers were mainly local residents. But in the last past three years, we have been receiving a lot of international uh, buyers because they were very excited with the fact that they not only can use the building, the, the apartments whenever they want to, but whenever they do not use it, they can put it with us. So we manage we, the, the facilities, we manage the apartment for them, and in return, they get their yield as well. So, you know, they can just use their apartments and get some money on the back of it. So this is why we're attracting more and more international buyers. Um, the, the new phases for one bedroom, you'll set about 700,000. I'm just gonna breeze through uh, the slides with what we have done in terms of apartments. They are very different. We aim to ensure that every block is different in terms of the style. So there's no cookie cutter looking like apartments. We have launched two new blocks in January. Uh, it's called Enzian and Ave, which is more the family style, large size apartments that, that has fireplace and sauna. So they are much bigger because one bedroom starts at about 62 square meters. And on the 1st of June, we are very excited to be launching the studio block. This block is uh, very highly anticipated. Um, and that's why we have to start a waiting list before we officially launch it, because there's just so much demand for um, this block. This block is now known as the frame. The frame is very different from the rest of the apartments that we've done in the past. It's very clean, simple, futuristic, but yet, um, you know, functional. So if you look at the left of the, of the, of the slide, this is our studio, uh, studio mezzanine that you're looking. And on the right, this is a one floor, straight, simple apartment. Um, in terms, I can't share too much information. I'm just sharing whatever I can with you right now. So this is a studio. I will just walk you through the duplex um, studios. If you will go in up, that's a mezzanine level, which is the bed. And then on down and downstairs is where all the living area is. We have an open kitchen. For the one bedroom, it's a very functional as well. Every corner is well thought of, of design and uh, very well utilized. If for one floor or uh, one bedroom building, so if you go into the right, it's all your living space, the open kitchen. And on the left, it's um, your bedroom, uh, bathroom, and some storage space. There are only 34 units in this block, of which 13 are one bedroom, um, 18 duplex studios, and only three normal studios. 
Prices include, um, will include the furniture package, which I have to emphasize it's important for this block because every piece of the furniture has a functional use to it. So if you look at this, for example, in the daytime, this is just a loft for the area where you can sit and enjoy. But in the evening, if you wanted to use it as a bed, you put this piece of furniture next to it and it opens up as a double bed. So um, the furniture package and equipment is important. Um, for, for this property and waiting list it starts at about five thousand it's five thousand sing dollars tag to John's language cell so if you are looking to to know more information please uh, contact your uh, sales consultant and we're very excited to say that even though the market with coronavirus we already have 20 people on our waiting 26 people on our waiting list um, why do we invest in Nandamat? So um, just want to let you know that it's, as a foreigner, it's very difficult to buy property in, uh, in Switzerland. Um, there's a lot of restriction, but Andamat is the only integrated resort um, of a debt scale that foreigners can buy and sell without any restriction. Also, with the amount of local, uh, 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 amount of infrastructure investment were put into place and converting it from an old military outpost to where we, where we are today. We have a very good growth story in terms of capital appreciation. As mentioned, the integrated hands-off rental management is also very good uh, for, uh, for international buyers. And because of the fact that we are the only developer in this area, we ensure we own we own the ski resort, we, we own the ski lift, we own the restaurants, we own the hotels and even the management. So we, we kind of make sure that the whole resort is integrated and uh, to ensure a very long term uh, growth for all owners. And I'm also happy to announce that we have uh, availability of mortgages for foreigners at very low rate of 1.5 interest only uh, interest only loans. Um, in Andama, there is no stamp duty, no inheritance tax. And also, we are a very well-known township developer that's listed on Swiss Stock Exchange. Uh, where are we in terms of price? This is a UBS report on, of Alpine property. Um, as usual, St. Moritz is still number one in terms of uh, property prices at the Alpine for Alpine properties at 16000 And at Andama, we are only at 10000 per square meters. So with the amount of infrastructure investment we're putting in place and, and constant marketing, we are very uh, positive that we're going to move up the ranks in the next few years. So this is just a slide that showcase um, in terms of local uh, ski resorts where, where we are compared to them. So if you look at everybody, we are the only one uh, and the mud has the most amount of recent investment and future investment. Um, in, just to emphasize that Infrastructure investment is very important for, for any investors if you want to have good capital appreciation and good yields in the future. The buying process is quite simple, fill in the reservation form and uh, the, there's a reserva reservation deposit of 10,000 Swiss francs that is refundable should you not proceed. And upon notarization is 20% of payment and completion at 80%. Notarization for foreign buyers, you need not to be going to Switzerland to sign a uh, to sign the agreement. You can just give a, a power attorney to our legal staff, at which you can sign on behalf. And before that, we can arrange a, a call with the notary public that represents those buyers and the sellers to understand the whole terms and agreement. So ownership tax, first thing, income tax. So income tax, the maximum income tax we're looking at, because there's federal, cantonal, and municipal tax, you're looking at about 28%. This is the maximum amount of uh, income tax that you're liable, but it's typical in Switzerland that you get a tax person to help you optimize the tax because um, you can put in your mortgage, you can put in a lot of expenses uh, to defray against the tax. The other kind of tax that we have here in Andermatt is asset tax. So you pay about 0.22% of 80% of the property price. So this is um, annually assessed by the local government on how much your property is worth. The third, time, third kind of tax is the holiday tax of 14 Swiss francs per square meter per year. This is applicable if you are, use, you are not a primary residence. In terms of capital gains tax, 
Switzerland do not like um, hot money speculation. So if you aim to sell a property after the first year, you will be slapped with a maximum amount of tax of 30%. And then following after each year, you have a 1% reduction. For example, after year two, you'll be 29%, year three, 28%. So after 20 years, you are looking at 10% of the net gains. But once again, you get your tax person to help you optimize that. There's no inheritance tax on property sold here. Um, mortgage application wise, there is one thing that we uh, have to highlight. You can do a self-assessment. So um, there's this rule in Switzerland where you assume a 5% interest rate. So it doesn't mean that you're paying 5% of interest. You just assume that for example, there is a 5% interest rate, and this should not be more than one third of your net income. If you qualify this, then you can please let us know. We'll put you in touch with any of our banking partners to get yourself assessed. So the typical loan to value is about 50 to 60%, and it's looking at it's only interest rate only, uh, interest rate only loans. Um, and you can fix it for five to 10 years. Uh, with that, let me put you on to the next person, Widya. Um, she has she was here in Anandamat last year, learning how to ski for the first time. Please, uh, Widya, let's uh, share. Thank this you. Experience. Thank you, Maureen. Yeah, as what she said, like, you know, unfortunately, during this time, we can't travel. So I thought perhaps I could share my experience with you when I was in Andamat. Um, as um, introduced by Paris, I am the head of international residential at JLL, and we are always here to seek um, new opportunities for our clients in Asia. So um, I am so pleased that there are quite a number of you who are interested to learn more about Andamat, and we are here to support you with that. So before I begin, uh, I'm just gonna run a very simple poll, which I hope that um, all of you can participate. Um, it, it should appear at this side of your um, panel. Uh, feel free to submit your answer and uh, I'll share it later um, at the end of the presentation. So, when we were appointed by Andermatt Swiss Alps to uh, market this uh, amazing development in Asia, I thought that I need to personally take a trip, not just to understand the feasibility of an investment, but also to experience it myself. Um, you know, growing up in the tropics, I'm very active. I always go out uh, for outdoor holidays, um, but not so much in the winter. So um, I was very fortunate that it didn't take too much convincing to get my British partner to come along because obviously being uh, British, he is used to um, ski holidays. Um, and I, I was so impressed um, that Travel to Andermatt from Zurich International Airport was so smooth sailing. The moment we landed, we were man we managed to get tickets directly to Andermatt. Even with the train transfers, there were no hiccups because you know if you have been to Switzerland, you know very well that the connectivity infrastructure is organized to the best precision. So yeah, one and a half hours checked into our hotel and um i was there at the end of the year um, in 2019 it was very vibrant um you know we managed to mingle and network not just with swiss um residents uh, as residents of andaman but also um swiss from all over from lugano um from uh, zuri that are there and have known about this redevelopment master plan okay so um, as what Maureen mentioned, this is a master plan and it's still very early on in the redevelopment. So um, a lot of our clients who have submitted pre-reservations with us understood that this is for the long-term um, uh, potential uh, in terms of investment. Um, obviously, we also have a lot of um, um, individuals who come forward uh, due to the lifestyle component of this investment. So yeah, um, that was me with my ski instructor. Uh, he's, a, he's actually a full-time lawyer as well, but uh, because of his interest and love for skiing, he actually um, is an instructor during the winter season um, as a part-time skier. So let me just show you a, a quick clip. I was really proud of this moment, being able to ski down into the village. 
Uh, if you can hear, there is actually uh, the beautiful church um, bells ringing. It's such a beautiful day, and I'm so glad that I took the opportunity to go to uh, Andamat. Um, I have also a couple of um, clips that I would like to share with you because Andamat is not just about the ski or the mountains. There's actually a lot more to offer. As I've mentioned, I was there during Christmas, um, so it's a bit more festive. Um, uh, you know, in the piazza in the middle of the new town, um, there's a huge tree that the developer has put and also um, what you call as a, they, they created a Christmas mas ma market. You, um, and we have guests and uh, residents who are just hanging out in a piazza. There's ice sculpture, there's a concert as well. And of course, it's not, people imagine Andermatt being a sleepy town in Switzerland well, without any life or, or um, spirit. But actually, with the, uh, with the developer coming in to create this new town, there is more happening. You, know, you are more than happy to get the best cocktails in uh, the top restaur uh, restaurants, as well as um, the hotel that Maureen mentioned. It's actually at um, Blue Radisson. Nice band. So just, you know, it's a communal feeling, which is great. And um, also, apart from the new town that is being built, there's also a very beautiful mistake of the old town. And this is, um, I, know I had a couple of hours uh, before I leave Andamat um, to actually tour the old town. Yeah, so, you know, having being an investment investor myself, buying homes in uh, my home country in the UK, um, Andamat speak to me because uh, it suits it suits my um, and my partner's um, lifestyle in terms of what we see in the long term, and we are looking at our um, portfolio again to to consider adding Andamat into our investment and retirement long term retirement plan. Yeah, I, I hope that it gives you some idea about Andamat. Um, and we shall now begin with the Q&A. So over to you, Clarice. Thank you, Maureen and Vidya for the insightful sharing. Sorry, I believe there was a little bit of a lag right there. Um, the view is certainly amazing. I hope this has brought some excitement to you. It sure did for me. We have more videos to share, so do keep a lookout for our email post webinar. We will also um, be, be sharing the deck and recording of this, of this webinar with you. So now it's time for Q&A. Um, we'll be taking questions from the audience. Um, first question, Maureen, this is for you. What is the time frame to complete phase two? Um, phase two, we are like looking at four buildings. So I think we'll be completing phase two in about second half, first half of 2022. First half of 2022. Thank you. So the next question is regarding um, restriction of selling. Is there any restriction to resell to another foreign owner? And is the property freehold? Okay, um, there is no restrictions of, to foreign purchase and sale. So we are very uh, lucky in this situation because we are exempted from lex color. So anybody can buy and sell um, to any foreigner without restriction. Uh, secondly, it's all freehold. All our properties are freehold lease. That's great to know. So a uh, follow-up question will be, is there any rent control legislation in Switzerland? Rent control, these are main, it doesn't apply for, um, for apartments in Andermatt because we are not like a long lease kind of uh, properties. So these are mainly holiday homes, so there is no rent control here. Great. Maureen, can you tell us a bit more about the rental program? We have interest to know what are the projected rental returns as well. Um, the rental returns in terms of yields, it's, it's very, uh, it varies. So the smaller units are studio one bedrooms, so you're looking at about 3% net. So you kind of go down as the apartment gets bigger. So for rental program, so it's quite simple. It's uh, whenever you do not use the property, 
uh, you you have no restriction on the use of the property, by the way. So whenever you do not use it, you let us know. We rent it out for you. And then we have a split of 75% to the owners and then 25% to the management. Right. That's great. So we have a question regarding um, COVID-19. What is the impact of COVID-19 on Andamat's economy this year? Considering the peak season was during the winter, what losses did you see? Uh, I'll be lying to say that there was no impact. So we were, we were very lucky because when COVID hit us in Switzerland, we are already winding down in terms of our peak season for the ski. So we were just one week to closing the ski lift anyways for the peak season. And um, so, so the impact on that has been minimized. But in terms of the local economy, that the food and F&B restaurants, they were still uh, hit. But then again, uh, we, have, we are revitalizing the economy. We are opening on 8th of May, the whole village. Um, we've, of course, a different kind of restriction. So there is like, uh, we, we cannot be like 100% occupancy rate for the restaurants. So we are just, we're still opening. Um, but, and the good thing is from the real estate side, we will actually positively um, impacted. Um, we are doing better this year than last year because we see a trend of more and more people coming to the, the Alpine properties because they do not want to stay in their city apartments anymore. So they're just buying a secondary properties where they can still work and um, commute from um, uh, from Andermatt to the nearby cities. So that kind of helped us also. And um, moving forward, we see a trend of tourism where people are coming to the Alpine areas, mountain areas where they can still go to the outdoors easily without seeing anybody. So it's no longer... Um, uh, Things have changed, definitely, but it worked positively for us. Um, we're seeing more and more take-ups in terms of property side. Great. Just a follow-up question on that one. Has COVID-19 affected the construction progress? And, um, it does uh, impact us a little bit because we were trying to finish a building um, this year. So because the borders were closed, so some of the materials couldn't get in. So that has been a uh, that building has been affected in terms of in terms of uh, completion. But on the other hand, we we started the construction also of uh, two buildings uh, two weeks ago when everything was open. So that site it didn't affect. But yes, it does affect on the interior decoration of the, our latest building. Great. Now. We have some question regarding what is the capital appreciation potential with Andaman? Um, we have been increasing our prices about 5% every year. Uh, we are looking to up our price, uh, increase uh, our price. Of course, it depends on how the market is working by 5% every year. If you look at the UBS report, we are the only development in the whole Alpine developments that, uh, that has the that will have the best annual growth in the next five to 10 years, about 4.3% on the average term. So this is what we're looking at. We're trying to aim for 5% capital appreciation per year. Wow, that's, that's great. So we have another question regarding using of the apartment. Can we leave or retire in the, in the apartment? Or it is compulsory to lease back the apartment to management? Yeah, you. this is your apartment. It's up to you to use it as long as you want. We have a uh, Swiss residents that never leased out the properties uh, to outsiders. They used it every weekend and now during the COVID situation, they're living there permanently. So you, you, had, you can use however you want, whenever you want. We're just there in case that you want to ask to make some money for you. To support you on that if i may also add um that's also one of the um, attractiveness uh for my own consideration because obviously you know if you are buying this as a as a holiday home you're not going to be there throughout unless you're fully retired so um you know and and many of you who ski who love to ski who goes um for holiday you know that during the ski season it's not um you know the demand for accommodation is very limited so we want to have the opportunity to actually um, have accessibility to our apartments whenever we want and the time that we 
um, are not there, that's when uh, we are very comfortable with the developer helping us with the rental during that period. Just to add my two cents will for that. Yeah. <laughs> sure, thanks. So we have someone asking, is there a lift in the frame block? Yes. There is. We have lift in all our apartments. Okay. Now we have the next question. What is the total number of units that is foreseeable from the 42 apartment blocks that are planned to be built? Altogether, of the 42 apartments, we're looking at 500 units. Great. Now we do have another question coming in. There's, there's really great interest here. I'm scrolling through the questions. So what are the residential facilities that the owner can enjoy? Um, every block is different. So um, for the frame, for example, on the ground floor, I have to confirm that once the, it's finalized, we have the communal facilities. I think they may be a little spa area as well as um, some shared facilities. So some building has their own gym, some buildings not. So, but in the event that you want to use a more bigger facilities, for example, a swimming pool, you can use the Gortat residence or, I mean, the, the Radisson Blue Hotel facilities. You just have to pay per entry. Great. Now we have another question regarding long-term holding. If the owner hold it long-term and it needs to be renovated to maintain value, who or how will that be managed? Um, if they, they are holding it long term, at if they, even if they're not using it, uh, when you're putting for us to manage for them, we will, we, there is a sinking fund, um, that's for the external management, but within that, if they want to, to renovate it, they want to make it better, they can come to us because we, we can do that for them, of course, at their charge, uh, that's up to them to let us use it. Or if they want to, if they want to renovate it, but then they do not want to put it on the rental management with us anymore, then that's when they can talk to us and maybe they will, would, they can do it them touch with the right people. We can manage the whole process for them as well. Great. Now we have another question. Um, this will be the last question um, we can probably take on for the evening as we are running out of time. So it is this regarding Lex Collar, Maureen. So they understand that Lex Collar um, will might come to an end in 2030. Mm -hmm. So is it clear that Lex Collar will be extended? It's highly possible that we will extend it, but I can't say it's 100% sure. Um, I, we are confident that it will be extended because it's, we have a lot of investment into this area and we want to make sure that uh, foreigners can still buy and sell. So it's our developers' interest. It's also the government, the Uri Cantonal government's interest to make sure that this area becomes vibrant and always becomes sustainable. So I'm quite confident it will be a standard. Okay, I think we have time for one more question. So this is for you, Vidya. Are there, are there a lot of interest from Singapore or Asian markets from your observation? Mm -hmm. Um, as you can as you can imagine, there is a increase in affluent Asian families who have the um, who want to attain um, or have the ambitions to attain a more sophisticated lifestyle. You know, um, now people a lot of Asians are skiing in um, skiing in the winter season, um, in the summer, European summer that is. Um, um, they do a lot of uh, mountain trekking, golf. So yeah, um, with that affluence, um, and also um, the fact that um, uh, we are um, uh, attaining a, a more balanced lifestyle, uh, we do see there is an increase in um, Asian investors, particularly in lifestyle, um, tourism investments, either for own use or long-term investment. So it's not a surprise that places, you know, like the more obvious destination in Asia, Niseko, you, you know that, uh, you know, the interest level there has increased um, quickly over the last um, couple of years. But there are also a growing number of invest Asian investors 
who are looking at Europe and Switzerland because of its safe haven um, um, status as well as the tax efficiency is one of the more obvious choice uh, to, to attain such lifestyle long-term investment. Um, you know, when I was in um, Andamad, I was very fortunate to, well, it was just coincidence that when I was in the ski cable to be seated with a uh, fellow Singapore residents, uh, it's a whole family. They actually bought into Andamad four or five years ago because they truly believe of the potential growth. Um, and, uh, you know, when we started marketing, uh, doing some um, promotions of this development, we were pretty impressed uh, by the number of inquiries that we've received, um, as well as the number of reservations that we've uh, collected for Andamat Swiss Alps. Um, so, yeah, I would say that there is a growing in, um, number of Asian investors looking into Andamat. Wow, that's really exciting to know. Um, there is certainly a growing interest um from the asian market now thank you so much for all your questions that have been streaming through uh, we may not have addressed every single question however please reach out to your respective um, sales consultant we will also follow up individually on your questions um, Secondly, I'd like to bring to your attention, as we are all observing social distancing, if you are keen to have a one-to-one -one virtual tour, please do not hesitate, hesitate to get in touch with your respective sales consultant. Um, again, uh, we will also be sharing this recording and the deck with you, so keep a lookout for it post-webinar session. Um, also, you may submit your inquiry on our website, uh, which is displayed on the screen. The next slide. Um, internationalresidential.jll.com.sg So don't forget to follow us on social media and stay connected with us as we bring you um, more webinars and more exciting opportunities ahead. With that, thank you so much for your time and we hope to see you in our future webinars and event. Have a good evening everyone.